Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. My name is Jill, and I'm going to be doing the Capricorn Daily Energy Reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not, especially since this is a general reading. All right, we're going to look at what you may be struggling with. So we had the Ace of Wands that has popped out. I feel like this one too. We have the High Priestess. And let's see what else we have here that Capricorn might be struggling with today. We have the Two of Wands. So we have what you may be struggling with is the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. And I feel like this has kind of been coming out a lot lately for Capricorn is that you're having trouble taking those steps to bring change into your life and that you're second guessing yourself and you're wondering, am I really doing the right thing? Am I going in the right direction? And I feel like you're having trouble with, you know, we have the Ace of Wands and then we have the Two of Wands. It's like actually taking the actions to make things happen. I just feel like you have a lot of doubt within yourself. I feel like there's part of you that says that you want to make this change or you want to take these steps and you want to go into this Two of Wands here but I, and this Ace of Wands, but I feel like there's part of you that's holding you back. And I feel like it's, I do feel that there's a lot of change coming in for Capricorn. And I feel that it's almost like Capricorn is resisting it. I'm a Capricorn Sun and a Capricorn Rising. Um, I think that I've been resisting it a little bit, but I've also been very open to it. So, but there's always this sense of security when you do things that you are used to and you feel that there's like that comfort zone, which I've definitely talked about a lot on my channel. I feel like you're just doubting yourself with this high priestess in this position and, and you know, of what you're struggling with and that maybe you're afraid to trust your intuition that um, you'd rather stay in the known instead of pushing yourself in the unknown. Because I feel like it's something that you're not really sure how it's going to turn out and you're not really sure how it's going to happen. And there's, especially with Capricorn being an earth sign, so there's a sense of grounding when you feel you know how things are going to go and how things are going to happen. And when you kind of push yourself into the unknown, there's a sense of instability there. So I feel like that's what you're struggling with. Um, I feel like this is really learning a lot about yourself and I feel like it's pushing yourself. Let's grab advice from the tarot. We have justice and I feel like it's, I feel like the tarot is saying, make things happen, like make it happen, right? Make it work for you. Make it happen for you. Give yourself that justice. We also have um, the six of swords and I feel like it's let go of those insecurities that you have, those swords that you have, that turmoil that you may have and that overthinking that you may have. Definitely, if you go with your first reaction, that's the one that you need to follow. But if you wait too long to follow that, then you start to get in your head and then you start to overthink things and you start to find reasons to not make something happen or make changes happen. And then we have the Page of Wands, which pages is young, new energy, and it could, could represent like starting new things or the beginning of something and definitely with actions, but it also represents communication. And I feel like, I feel like you have to acknowledge those insecurities that you have or those doubts that you have that are holding you back. And what I do is if I am doing something and I'll take a piece of paper and I'll say, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid of happening, right? What are those feelings? What am I afraid the results are going to be? And what am I afraid of? But then below that, I write, what will I be gaining, right? What will be happening for me? What will be coming in for me if I'm able to embrace this change or make these changes? And what is the positive that will come, come from it? And feel that energy of 
the things that you're afraid of, but then when you write what it is that you're going to be gaining or how you're going to be feeling afterwards, that if you do this and embrace that feeling and use that feeling to push you forward. I just feel like you're just getting into your head too much and you're overthinking. And you have to realize habits that you're doing within yourself. And are you preventing yourself from bringing things in and doing things because you have this sense of fear of the unknown? We all have that. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows when you try something new or you do something new, you have these expectations that, okay, it's going to work out or, you know, it's going to have, because that's why you're doing it is to push yourself towards, you know, a positive outcome, but we don't really know, like nothing's set until it actually happens. And I feel like for some reason, I feel like the tarot is saying like communicating, communicating either within yourself or communicating with another person. For some reason, I feel like that page of wands is really sticking out for me. And I feel like it's more towards like communicating and speaking out loud. Sometimes when you talk out loud, for me, whether I'm talking out loud to myself or I'm talking out loud to a friend or a family member, that when I'm actually able to hear myself talk about it, that it gives me a sense of relief and it gives me a sense of like knowing, oh, okay, like listening to myself, it's like, yeah, I really should do that. Or like, I really do have these doubts or these fears and I really do need to um, just go with my gut feeling. Let's look at the future energy that wants to come in for you here. Um, with you taking these actions and with you following through with this, is it's going to bring in some change for you. And I feel like this is going to change how you approach things and how things happen for you. And uh, you're going to look at things differently and you're going to start handling things differently. And I feel like you're going to embrace the change. We also have the moon card. So I feel like you're going on. I like this one because it's like this little lobster is going on this path and he's moving from the water to the land. So he's changing his environment, which is definitely scary because he's going from the water to the land. So that's a big, it's an unknown, right? You don't know what's going to happen, but it's like, I personally feel is that I would rather try something and see how it works or see what happens rather than never try anything and be stagnant. Like that would drive me crazy. I was just noticing all the Gertrude's toys are on the floor. <laughs> we also have the lover's card. So that could represent a Gemini. So it could be a new relationship that is coming in for you. But I feel like it's a sense of security within yourself. And I feel like you're not waiting anymore. Like you're not standing around and waiting anymore that you're making things happen and that you're not as easy to give up on things. I feel like you've kind of given up on things in the past it could be a relationship that you've been, it also could, I'm kind of looking at this, how this nine of wands is kind of looking at that relationship. And I feel like you're no longer going to be waiting around for this relationship or this person to like be on the same page as you. I feel like I was kind of feeling that this might have to do with a relationship where you feel like you are ready to move on from it. It could be a friend, a family member. It could be a work relationship. Um, and I feel that, um, it could be a relationship that, you know, whatever type of relationship that is, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a partnership. I feel that, um, it's a, re a relationship that you're wanting to move on from because you feel like it will benefit you. And I feel like with just the way this nine of wands is looking at that lovers, I feel like it's. You're saying, I'm not going to wait around anymore for this person that I'm ready to go out on my own and do my own thing and create my own things and to make things happen for myself, that I'm not going to sit around for that anymore, that I'm tired of doing that. And I feel like maybe you, I'm kind of feeling like you feel like you're, you're always waiting around for other people to do things that you want to have happen in your life. Like you're always waiting for an answer or this person to change or things to get different, you know, things to be different. And I feel like you're tired of that. Like, and I feel like that's the change is you're like, you know what? 
I'm not going to sit around and wait for this anymore. Like I'm going to do what it is that I want to do and make things happen for me. And I think that that's definitely a sense of freedom there. All right. So let's kind of pull some for overall energy here for this reading. Um, I love it. So we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like it's the rewards for your hard work that are coming in for you. And I feel like this emotional release for yourself. And I also feel like you're ready to start on new adventures. And I feel like there's a sense of happiness that wants to come in for you and that is going to come in for you. And I feel like it's going to be very rewarding. I feel like it's going to feel a little awkward or it's going to feel a little discomfort, but I feel like it's definitely going to be worth it for those things that you are going to be, that these changes that you're bringing in. This doesn't mean that this is happening right away, but I feel like it's kind of opening up, like the reading is kind of like opening up your eyes to say, you know what, that is how I feel. I always feel like I'm waiting around for things to happen or I'm giving up my power to situations or people and I'm always waiting for them instead of making things happen for myself. For some reason, I was looking at this card deck and I feel like I need to pull, <laughs> I need to pull some cards from here. So we're just going to go with it. So we have the Hierophant, which can represent Taurus. We have the Ace of Wands. I love it. I love it because this is what we started with that you were struggling with. And look at what wanted to come in for you is that you're finally ready. You're having that faith and belief in yourself and you're finally believing in yourself and that you're finally taking things in your own hands, especially with those hands being there, that you're ready to take things in your own hands right now, that you're not giving up your power to someone else. Um, we also have like the eight of swords where you're setting your, I feel like you're setting yourself free, right? That you're taking it this power and you're setting yourself free from holding yourself back. You're no longer holding yourself back. You feel like you're more in control of your life with the chariot here. Like you feel like you're on the path that you want to be on and you're creating it for yourself. And I also feel like you kind of realize how when you have this doubt within yourself and that you're always waiting for other people, that you kind of realize that it's only affecting you, that it's only hurting you. It's not hurting the other person, right? Because that person is, maybe that person is having it the way that they want to have it. They're like, oh, like, I don't want this person to move on. I don't want this person to level up. I don't want this person to change. I want this person to stay the same, which is representing you. But you're ready for change. You're ready, like you're tired of sitting around and waiting for that person. Like you're, you're tired of, wait, could be a relationship. You're tired of waiting for that relationship to come in. And I feel like you're ready to, to just do what it is that you want to do within your life and make it happen. And that when you start focusing on yourself and you start focusing on what it is that you want to do, then things start to come in for you and things start to happen for you because like you're not sitting around and waiting, like you're making things happen. Let's grab a um, and the Oracle. We have this and that are true, right? There are... I just feel like it's kind of, I feel like it goes with the two of swords is figuring out what's the truth and what's the not truth. What's reality and what's not reality. Sometimes we kind of create a false reality within our own head. And it's kind of like a story that we create that we're trying to believe within ourselves. But it's like, what's the truth of the matter? And I feel like the truth of the matter is that you're holding yourself back, that you know, you're not giving yourself an opportunity to go after your dreams, your ace of wands, whatever that may represent, that you're not giving yourself that chance for your ace of wands and that you're holding yourself back. And I feel like it's, you were convincing yourself to stay in a situation that you weren't happy with, but I feel like it's really facing the truth of the situation. We have um, transformation um, defining yourself. That's kind of what I feel like this reading is about is defining yourself and what's important to you, what it is that you want to do. And I feel like it's finding that clarity within yourself and saying, you know, what is it that I really want? What is important to me? What is it that I want my world to look like? What is it that I want my life to look like? 
right? And if I want those changes, I have to be changed, right? I have to do those things for myself to bring that change in. Let's grab a Whispers of Healing. I feel like these two want to come out. We have um, Unconditional Love and we have Seek Seclusion. I feel, I always feel like when the unconditional love comes out, I feel like it's finding that love within yourself and having that unconditional love for yourself to say that if you're not happy or if things aren't happening the way that you want them to happen is you are responsible for making those changes. And I feel like the seek seclusion is take that time to yourself without the distractions of like, I feel like sometimes in our living space, sometimes we can have clarity, but sometimes it, you can think or you can have more clarity when you go to a place that is outside of your living space. And I feel like that gives more clarity, even if it's just like in the car. Like I've said before, I've gone to the barn many times and I've, I've found a lot of clarity. Um, and I feel like sometimes it's like when you when you go places that are out of the norm, like it kind of gives you that opportunity to really think clearer and find some answers and I feel like since that card came up I feel like that's important for you to seek that seclusion to find that clarity I feel like if you stay in your living place I feel like you have a lot of distractions there I feel like you're not going to find that clarity for some reason that just seems to be coming through is that there's too many distractions in your living space and that you're not gonna find the answers that you're looking for. <laughs> we have the Ace of Swords, triumph and success, right? So that's, what does that triumph and success represent to you? What does that look like to you? Like, what does that feel like to, for you? And that's what you need to make happen. And I feel like with the way that sword is up in the air like that, I feel like it's saying, um, cut those cords, like with that sword, like cut those cords, cut those things out, um, cut out, cut out those things that, that, um, that have kind of created that overthinking. Um, I just feel like it's cutting some things out. I'm not sure what that represents. Obviously, if that resonates with you, you know what that means. Um, but I just, when I saw that image of the, I feel like it's, it's like slicing things out or cutting things out that aren't working for you. Let's grab a wisdom of the Oracle. Oh, I love, this is my favorite one. <laughs> the milk and honey, which is my favorite one with the little elephant that's um, taking a bath with the milk and honey and the rainbow. And it just makes me so happy to see this. And it's like, enjoying the sweetness of life and enjoying all of the positive things that you have going on in your life and making if you're not happy with the way that your life is is make it make it happy right make those changes don't leave it up to somebody else don't leave it up to chance really look within yourself and say what's going to make me happy what's going to make me feel better what's going to really bring that sweetness of life into my life and realizing that you're responsible for bringing that in, not anyone else. You can have people that are there to support you and can give you advice and all that, but putting all of your eggs in that person's basket and saying, well, I'm not going to be happy unless, you know, this person does this or this person, like you're giving all of your power away and kind of realizing that it's the sweetness of life is what you create within yourself, right? Because this elephant, this baby elephant is in there by himself and he's just having fun by himself, right? That he doesn't have anyone around him. And I feel like it's finding that happiness, that sweetness within yourself. And once you're able to do that, then you feel this sense of independence and freedom and you start to define yourself and you really start to say, this is what's important to me. This is what I want. And you're able to communicate that to other people and you're able to surround yourself with those people that understand that and that get that and appreciate that. And you don't have to feel guilty or you don't have to, you know, put all of that energy into other people waiting for them to make things happen. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I wish you the best on your journey.